Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brent and today we are looking at the best place to get ore and diamonds and stone blocks in Wizard 101 obviously um, and I've done this quite a lot obviously For the stuff that we've been doing crafting at the moment There is a lot of ore that has been required um, each hat that we've currently been doing requires 15 So I thought it was kind of important to do this guide um, finally, I find the best place in the Athenium. Um, there are other places which I will show you at the end. Um, but essentially, the Athenium is great. You can get lava lilies here um, and the lava bits. This is just the run that I do. I do lava lilies down here. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's one. It kind of just depends on who else has been through here and if they notice it. Um, but then there is ore spawns over here. There's one in, I think it's this one here. There's one here, always. Uh, well, not always, but there could be one there. Um, I don't think there can be one there, but there could possibly be. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've had to do this. But there is also one here. And there is sometimes one here. And then we have stone blocks, which can either be behind this post, over here, and then over in the corner here by the stone rose, which is just over here, if you wanted to know. That's where the stone rose is. Um, and yeah, you just hop worlds and you get them. There's usually about three stone blocks and two ore generally um so yeah then you just switch worlds and just continue going through there the other place i go is to the shadow palace um and you can just get a whole bunch of reagents there it's actually really really good um so we're gonna make our way over there real fast let's see how fast we can actually make our way to shadow palace which is right at the end of chrysalis so this is not the best um you can't get to it unless you either port to someone in there or um, you have finished, basically finished Chrysalis, I mean, is where the last um, couple of bosses are. It's at the end of the hive, um, which we have to go through because there's no teleport over there, which is kind of a shame. But basically, you go through Silent Market, you go over to the, um, we're also going to change to um, Hitting Gear, just in case we get pulled. <clears throat> because there is a high chance we get pulled here. Um, so we come down here, follow the path, obviously, it's rude to walk on the grass. I don't know why, I just always have a habit of not walking on the grass, except there. That's beside the point, don't judge me for that. And then you go to the hive, which is this one there. Um, and then basically, I always forget where this is, always forget. I think we just go, it's over there, so we just go straight from memory. Um, right, maybe, I think it's this way. This way, there's a mistwood, you can collect some reagents while you're, while you're getting over there. Always good to have reagents, I'm actually running out of mistwood at the moment, so I do actually need more. Um, be careful of these arachno gladiators. They do pull you from quite a mile away. Um, basically, up this ladder. Up this ladder. Up the two ladders. And into the Shadow Palace, which is just here. This is the big big Shadow Palace building. Um, and then you run all the way through the back. When it loads, thank you. All the way through to the back, through this web door. And you're in the... Where the Tree of Shadow is. Mor Mor Morris, I think is his name. I can't remember. Um, Moros, yeah. And then basically around here you can get all of the agents. Obviously he's getting them as well. So we'll quickly switch drums and I'll show you how much you can get here. Um, let's go to Leprechaun. Sure, why not? Leprechaun sounds fun. Um, and I will show you that you can get so much. Silver chests, there's usually one or two. Two wooden chests, there's ore, there's stone blocks, there's deep mushrooms, there's more stone blocks, there's, uh, comet tails, there's ore again. Um, what else do we have? scrap iron which is this is actually a really good place to get scrap iron as well um but yeah basically highly recommend coming here if you don't want to do swapping worlds as much and get more reagents if you want to you can there's also a um, thing right here as well basically end of chrysalis best two places to go thank you for watching um if you have any more reagents that you want me to try and find the best places to get um put them down in the comments below and otherwise i will catch you all next time so remember to craft outside the box